Hey, you too. Um, uh, so I'm actually taking a minute or two. I'm actually kind of busy right now, but um, I got another comment. I made a, um, a video like this before on my channel, um, but I got another appraisal comment for my Slipknot-related photo manipulations, and um, the comment on, on my DeviantArt, and it just, it it made me smile so much, like I actually, I almost dropped my phone, I was looking at my phone like, like that, <laughs> the generic look, um, but, um, uh, I wanted to make another video, um, and I know this is incredibly unimportant, it's so dumb, but it actually, it means a lot to me, it's actually, it's actually really inspiring, uh, considering I was just out with friends, uh, at dinner, and we were talking about, like, careers and jobs and pay, and I was just like, yeah, well, I wanted to be a graphic design artist, but, like, where the fuck that went, but anyway, um, so, yesterday on my DeviantArt, I got a comment on one of my first Slipknot-related edits, um, inspired by the song Duality, um, specifically the lyric, uh, if the pain goes on, I'm not going to make it. <clears throat> but they commented, I don't have it pulled up right now, but uh, they just, they happened to express just how much they like it. And I actually have my DeviantArt pulled up on my phone real quick, so let me go ahead and, I don't know why I'm doing this. It just, it makes me so happy. I get excited. I get excited. Um, um, but my reply to the comment was, um, your comment made me smile so much, I'm actually over here blushing and glowing, which I was. I've had so many people praise my Slipknot-related inspired photo edits for so long now. Some are years old at this point and still get love. I even got so overwhelmed with joy that I made a YouTube video thanking each and everyone for their support and their compliments. That was like a 10-minute long video. <laughs> I think. It actually might be shorter. Um, I'm, I'm notorious for making long videos because I rant a lot, but... Anyway, <laughs> um... They replied to me uh, earlier today, and I wanted to make a video reply because it's easier than just typing for me. Um, they said, I'm glad me geeking out over some badass imagery and awesome music made your day. How long have you been into them, and when did you stumble upon them? It's a story time. <laughs> so this is your answer. This is basically me saying thank you for their appraisal, and here's your answer. So, two, two years ago? Yeah, two years ago. <laughs> Um, two years ago, this upcoming July or August, I believe it was summer. It was either July or August. I think it was August. Yeah. Um, I and um, my my now ex, uh, we went to a concert as a late birthday present, um, which had of mice and men, Marilyn Manson, and Slipknot. Of mice and men opened, and we traffic was insane. <laughs> I mean, this this was in the Bay Area. This was actually um, at the Concord Pavilion in Concord, California. But this the traffic to the concert could have actually put uh, San Francisco traffic out of commission. It was that bad. Um, but we got there, and of my men just got off the stage, and X was upset. I I didn't care. Um, but it was actually kind of sad this next part. But um, I. I, one of my coworkers and uh, very, very best friends was at the concert, and um, we met up, and we slowly made our way up into the um, the pit. So, yeah, I kind of ditched my ex for my best friend, but anyway. Um, awkward video, but anyway, um, we made our way up to the pit. And Manson comes on stage and does about, I think, seven or ten songs? Just incredible. And even sang David Bowie lyrics, to which I screamed out of the top of my lungs when he paused for breath. I was like, David Bowie! And, um, actually, that's another story. That that actually spawns another story that I'll save for another time. I, that actually spawns, like, why I think a lot of my favorite songs have been actually contacting my Instagram. It's really weird. But anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm on a tangent right now. Um... But after his set ended, we got right to the center of the pit. If you reached out your arm, you could touch the, the slipknot curtain. We were we were that close. And I'm kind of exaggerating. We were like a couple feet away from the curtain, but we were like right there. And it was so cool. Um, but in high school, I didn't really get into their music. Um, I liked like one or two songs. I liked the Heretic Anthem and I liked Wait and Bleed. I did like Duality. Um, but I didn't get into them because I didn't understand. Because I... I thought 
listening to them, I, I thought it was just music that would make you angry and made you want to start a bunch of fights and a bunch of wars and kill a bunch of people. And I didn't know any better. I, I didn't know. I didn't bother to take the time to educate myself on that. But at the concert, Corey Taylor was so personable with all everyone in the audience. It didn't even matter if they were just here for the first show or the second show or they're here now. He, he was actually taking the time to reach out to us and talk to us and call us his friends, his family. And it was just, it was so, he, he just exuded an air of humbleness. And it, it was just, it was in that moment that I actually paused during the middle of a raging concert. I looked around me, I looked at the fans, I looked at the mosh pits. I was like, these kids are fucking having an awesome time. Sorry, my friends. But like, these kids are having an amazing time at this concert and they look, fucking happy. They, they all look so happy. They're all hugging each other and chanting the lyrics and they're jumping up and down and they look like they're having so much fun and getting swept up in in that audience, having so much fun for one of the most hardcore bands on the planet. And there's other people out there like Miss Sugar, Gajira, such and such, but, but I saw the people around me and I was like, I actually want to educate myself. I want to get into this. So that's my long blathering story of how I got into Sublime. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's actually incredibly inspiring for me. There's days where I'm just like, I'm not an artist. I make crappy photo edits. Um, but some of my more recent work is actually my Slipknot related stuff. And it's during a time where like I'm I'm really, really down. Like it's an angry time, it's a dark time, it's a sad time, it's a depressing time. A lot of it was actually made in the year twenty sixteen. That's the same thing at all. Um but I am just so overwhelmed that you guys like those edits. Like that I've never gotten I don't think I've ever gotten as much love for those pictures as I have for the rest of my stuff. And I it for whatever reason, it pushes me to keep furthering my career and it pushes me to keep trying. And this is a long ass video and I'm going to shut up, <laughs> but there's your answer on how I got into the band. There's my thanks to you guys for just loving my art and giving me a reason to keep trying to make new stuff. And, um, I don't know. Have a good night.